Hey y'all. So I am hoping <laughs> this is not going to work. I'm hoping that I can record this video without being so distracted with what's going on outside. There's just a lot of traffic going on and then my neighbor across the street, she just walked outside, walked to her mailbox and yeah. So if you see my eyes going that way, I'm looking out the window, looking at what's going on. I just did it again. Um, so yeah, so of course there's construction going on down the street and so all these work trucks and dump trucks keep coming down the road and so I'm just looking every time. The other thing also is my husband um, is gone with all the boys. He have all three of the boys and they all went to go get haircuts. So my baby, he's getting his first haircut and they're all getting haircuts. So I think that's the biggest reason why I keep looking out. The window looking to see when they will return because you know I'm always interested in my kids after their first haircuts um because I'm not really feeling this this first haircut because he didn't have a lot of hair that long the other ones I mean by the time I mean AJ was born with a head like he was born with afro and <laughs> And, you know, so by the time they were like three months old, I mean, before, it was before that, but definitely by the time they were three months old, they had like full blown afros. So by the time they turned one, their hair was just, wow. And so Amir, his hair has just been like really like just smooth and really soft for like the longest and only in just the past few months has his hair started to like thicken and actually curl. So it's just like his hair is just starting to like, you know, get thick. So like it's it's not like going like super crazy like those other two. So that is why I keep looking out the window. So I say all of that to say if you see me look out, look that way, that's what I'm doing. Because I'm like excited for their return okay and there's another truck coming down the road so of course i'm gonna look to see um what yeah see big old dump truck so let me talk to you all about what's been going on around here lately so i haven't been on youtube in a while i have been wanting to be on youtube but um time just gets away and i just <laughs> I just have it um so i i've been putting together some plans and some ideas of how to make sure that i can continue to be consistent on youtube and on my channel because i plan to launch a, a new channel for um my tutoring business so i have a tutoring business that i've talked about several times here on this channel ar learning and so I've been wanting to launch my AR learning channel for like a year now. And um, I have videos for it ready and I just haven't done it. So I am working on um, getting these ideas, um, getting them, putting them into action. Okay. So I am working to be more consistent on this channel so that way y'all don't have to go such long periods of time wondering what's going on with Supermom's journey. Is she done with uh, YouTube or what? What's going on? Let me tell y'all what has been going on around here. So first, let's see. Um, Amir, my baby, just turned one. So I talked in the last video about, you know, how that's going um amari my middle son he's going to be three um in a few weeks and y'all i just realized that one of my recent videos that i did was about him turning two. Oh my gosh okay so it's been it's been a long time y'all since i've been on here so we're planning a party for the both of them a shared birthday party and that one is going to be this coming weekend. Um, and and that's simply because, you know, Amir's birthday and then the party and then Amari's birthday. So their birthday is like, you know, two weeks apart. So we were able to put a party in between. 
So the thing is, this party is going to be mostly focused on Amir because Amari, as I mentioned in um, the last video, he and his brother AJ are on punishment. They have been getting into a lot of trouble lately. Um, a lot of trouble, so much so that it is like it's it's been wearing on me, like seriously. And like I can make jokes about it and things like that, you know, laugh at it. I mean, cause some stuff, you know, yeah, it's some things. It's like you you just have to just laugh at it and just like you know what I. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they have just been getting into a lot of trouble lately. Amari, his thing is, of course, destruction. He likes tearing up everything. I mean, tearing up everything. So I, like, replace, you know, the window treatment in his room for, like, I don't know how many times. Because we had, originally, we had blinds in there. When we bought the house, we had them install blinds in all of the windows. He destroyed those blinds. So we had to take those down. Um... So I had like blankets and stuff. I tried to nail like a, a curtain. He ripped those down. So I got the shade. So, you know, the little pull down shade. He tore that up. So we got another shade and I really got on to him. Do not touch this. You leave this alone. Don't you put your hands on it. All of that. And I rearranged his room so that way the bed is in front of the window. So that way he can't get to it and rip all that down. And that was going good. For a good while and then recently he got a hold of the shades again tore it, ripped it had it all balled up i couldn't even untangle it so i was like oh, you know what so i got like one of my big blankets and i just went up there and i just nailed that thing like all the way across so i got a blanket just nailed across the window i never thought that i would be that parent that had blankets up on the windows but i am so I got that, um, he broke the scale that I used, the baby scale that I have, that I used to keep track of, you know, when their babies keep track of their weight. And I was really upset about that because Amir's birthday was coming up, you know, so I'm getting ready to check his weight for his birthday. But now I don't have his baby scale, check his weight. Um, so that was broken. Um, we're still holding on to it, though, because my husband's going to see if he can try to um, get it back working. Because we were, like, on a hunt for, like, the battery because we couldn't find a battery for it. But he, the battery was, like, down on the inside of it. I don't know how he did that. But, yeah. So, that um, and just not listening. He won't listen like he should. Um... So he's like at that stage where he's like really testing the limits, trying to see like, okay, what happens if I do this? Oh, they're telling me no. What happens if I do it? Anyway, you know, yeah. So huh, it's just so exhausting just talking about it, just thinking about it. Oh, just makes me feel worn out. Yeah. AJ got in trouble because of a potty disaster in his room. So instead of using the potty, he used the floor. And I don't mean number one, I mean number two. So I had to clean all of that. So he got put out of his room. So he's banned from his room. So he's now moved in with his brothers. So all three of them sharing this room right here. So as y'all can see, it's my office slash classroom. And their room is right there. So when I'm in here teaching, they're right there. So I'm not very happy about that either. But at this point, I don't trust AJ upstairs. I don't. Because um, he just, he do too much stuff. Like, and it's all like potty disastrous stuff. And it's like, dude, you know how to use the potty. You are completely potty trained. He knows how to use the bathroom. But it, it's, it's just a lot of stuff that just keeps happening up there. And I'm tired of cleaning it up. Because for one, I'm tired of going upstairs. I don't like going upstairs. I don't like stairs. 
I, and I know the question may be, well, Amy, why did you get a two-story house? Well, I got the two-story house because I figured I wouldn't have to go up there like that. Because everything I need is down here. My room, my bathroom, kitchen, living room, my office, everything is down here. And there's only two bedrooms up there. And there's a bathroom, kids, hey, y'all go on up there. But, man, I did not realize or think about, you know, the kids getting into stuff and having to go up there and clean up after them. I didn't think about all of that because, honestly, y'all, before I became a parent, I didn't think I needed to worry about stuff like that. And I'm just being very transparent with y'all. I just knew my children were going to be super well behaved and if they did anything that was out of line, I was going to snatch their behind. They was going to get right back in line in no time. And I mean, literally, no time. Like, boom, back in line. But in real life, it's not working like that. <laughs> it is not working like that. I mean, it's getting there. And I know it will all the way get there. But it's not. it's not working the way that I thought it was going to. So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that I would have, you know, issues like this. And then so many of them all the time. The other thing with AJ is he likes plundering and messing with stuff. So it's like if I leave to go run some errands during their nap time, I, it's almost like without a doubt, I am going to come back home to a mess of some sort i got up one morning when i got up um and he already left out of the room and he came in here and he got into the um the coffee creamer because we have a bottle of coffee creamer in there the powder kind um like we don't really use it right there because i don't i don't use creamer in my cloth my coffee i like my coffee black um so <laughs> So, yeah, he got into the creamer, and it was, like, just coffee creamer powder all over the inside of the pantry. So, the the pantry now has, like, a scent of, you know, vanilla on the inside of it. Um, He got into my husband's um anointing oil. So, he got the bottle, and I guess he tried to anoint himself. And he had oil all on the floor, all on his shirt, um, all on the couch. Not my new couch, because I got a new couch. We got two new couches. But the old, the one that I used to have in here, because um, we have it in the living room right now to kind of like have like have it blocked off so a mirror don't escape. And then get into the rest of the house and start messing with stuff and you know that's not safe but yeah he had a big pile of oil on that seat and it was like oh, dude stop messing with stuff it was another morning i got up and i had left a bag of sour patch kids on the table he ate my candy um <laughs> He had got into, so because him and Amari, they was cutting up one time. It was too loud. Plans just so rough while I was trying to teach my classes. So I put him in my room. I'll go in there. He got into my ginger powder and had powder all over my, my side table by my bed, had it all over my laptop. And he took it apparently in the bathroom, had the powder all in the tub. Oh. And then just yesterday, I run to go get some lunch for me and my husband, and I came back, and there's agave syrup, like, all on the floor, all on the counter, and I'm like, dude. And then it was all on um, the the other couch, so our big sectional couch, because uh, we're giving that one away, so I got it all washed and clean and everything. And he got agave syrup all on it. Apparently, he got it all over one of his socks. So, he took his sock off and it's just soaked in agave. And he just laid that on the um the couch. <sighs> so, yeah. 
so yeah so yesterday evening i spent the evening cleaning mopping the entire kitchen i had aj come and clean up his mess so he came in i showed him how to clean up all that syrup because that's another thing too we tell kids to do stuff but we don't tell them how to do it so i told him how to do it how to clean it up um so yeah so it's just like stop touching stuff and i'm just like i'm at the point now where i'm like how many times do i have to say it for you to get it like how many times do i have to say stop messing with stuff without permission don't touch anything that's not yours without asking anyone how many times do i have to say it before you actually understand and get don't do that you know and aj he talks like very intelligently like he talks like he totally gets it but it's just he i guess he just can't help himself and his his um reason for every time is always i want to see how it works <sighs> even though i've already told him if you want to see how something works ask like because he loves to do stuff like, um, if I come in, in on Friday mornings with groceries and I'm bringing the groceries in, he want to help bring the groceries in. Then he want to help unpack the groceries and he want to help put the groceries up. Um, so he, he always want to do stuff. He want to do stuff. And I love that. But I need him to understand to do things the right way, though. Okay. So opening stuff. Oh, yeah, because he had gotten to one of the sprays. I was cleaning up the inside of my car. So I had the window sprayer window cleaner and i when i put it back in the house i set it on the counter and then after we were done cleaning the cars and everything came back in and it was like on the floor so i was like wait i was telling my husband wait 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 there's something on the floor because this was not here and apparently he hadn't got to the spray and sprayed it and we were really upset about that because he could have sprayed that in his eyes and his face could have hurt himself huh so yes i put blame on myself too because i'm like i should have had it on the counter but at the same time also he knows better than to mess with stuff. We've told him, especially recently, almost every day, don't touch stuff. So we're having to deal with him with that. So with him now sleeping in the room with his two brothers, that's a thing too because he wants to like, um, AJ, he's the type, he's like his daddy. He's the life of the party. Um, my husband, he can bring the party wherever he go. Um, me, I'm good with just sitting and just, you know, watching. I'm good with that. And AJ, yeah, he has to be the life of the party. He has to be the spotlight. He has to be in the spotlight. And so, yeah, he get the party going <laughs> when it's supposed to be bedtime. So, oh, goodness. So, yeah, trying to get them to stay quiet and to go to sleep. Melatonin has been my friend, but I don't want to be dependent on melatonin because I need my children to understand that when it's bedtime, it's bedtime. Um, because melatonin, we we call it bedtime vitamin. Um, so they look forward to the bedtime vitamins, but I need to need them to understand that you need to be able to go to bed and be ready for bedtime without wanting um bedtime vitamin. You need to go to bed because you know it's you better go to bed. <laughs> so yeah, and I don't want to be dependent on it feeling like the only way to get my kids to sleep is melatonin. I don't want to be that way. I want to be when I tell my kids to go to bed, they better go to bed. So yes, yeah, so now I have to stagger bedtime now. So Amari will go to bed um because he stay lit. So he. <laughs> He go to bed at 6.30. I lay him down. So, 6 o'clock, everybody eats. 6.30, finished up. Go ahead and get him changed. Get into bed. About 7 o'clock, then I'll go and lay Amir down. Because um, after they eat, then he'll have his bottle. And then by 7 o'clock, he's changed, ready to go to bed. AJ, I'll put him in the bed like maybe 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. Maybe 8.30, 9 o'clock. Um, yeah, because I need the other two to be knocked out before AJ goes in there. And I also need AJ to be on his way to sleep when he go in there. Because one night I went in there, he hadn't turned the light on. I'm like, 
do? What are you doing? So, yes. It has been, it has been, it's been something um, <laughs> with these kids. Um, let's see. So, that's what's been going on as far as behavior. And why this birthday party is more so focused on Amir. Because they have lost their privilege with playing with their toys. So we've packed their toys up. So they've lost that privilege. Because um, the stuff that I'm mentioning now, this is just like some of the small stuff. This isn't even like everything. So, yeah. So we've packed um, their toys up. and Because they're already in those little totes. So all we did was like, you know, put the lids on them and put them in the other room upstairs. So they can't get to them. When they show us that they know how to listen and follow directions like they are supposed to and not destroy stuff, then we'll start, you know, gradually, you know, giving them their um, privileges back. Um, Amari is still potty training, like I've mentioned before. Um, he is potty trained, like he knows how to go to the potty, use the potty and everything, pee pee and boo boo in the potty. It's just trying to get him to do it consistently now. Um, yeah. And it's kind of hard to do that with our schedule because it's just like, oh, something's always going on. It's like we can't stick to it. And I feel like I need to do better with remembering to make sure I help him stick to it. But it's like, I, I don't. Um, so, um, let's see what else. Homeschool. As you can see... We have been like going hard, I wouldn't say going hard with homeschooling, but it's been off the chain. Um, so they have their workbooks. They have their workbooks. I started Amari with his preschool workbook and AJ is now on first grade workbook. So he's working on this workbook and then he has another first grade workbook and we'll work on that. This is his reading book. So this is one of my old kindergarten reading books. So he's been reading the stories in this. So we do a story each week. And if it's a more difficult story, then um, we'll work on it two weeks. Like this particular story. I know y'all can't really see that. But yeah, we worked on this one for two weeks. Um, so yeah, so I have a schedule going with homeschool. And I'll talk more about that in my homeschool video about how that's going. So we have a schedule with that. Um, so keeping up with their progress, their assignments, grades, all of that. Um, <laughs> and keeping up with my parent-teacher conferences with my husband, so, mm, excuse me, so that he can stay, um, of course, up to date with what's going on. So I'll talk more about what all I have going on with the homeschooling in my homeschool video. Uh, working from home, that has been going well. I have been pretty much fully booked every week. Um, so I tutor um, and I teach classes, reading and math, and a teen finance, a teen personal finance class. So those have all been doing well. So I'm going to be talking more about that also in a video coming up. And um, also on my new channel that I'm going to have um, launching soon, my AR Learning. Um, so, yeah. So, if you want to check out my website, it is www.arlearning.org. So, that is my tutoring website. You can go there to um, book spots for tutoring. Um, enroll in some of my classes um, for kids K through 12. So, yeah. Um, let's see, new around the house, I just, I mentioned that we got a new couch, so we have two new couches, so we're getting rid of the sectional, we got two new couches, they both recline, so I wanted to make sure that we have enough seating room for us and all these kids, and I also want enough room where my husband and I, if we want to just stretch out, you know, stretch out, we can both stretch out if we want to. And yeah, so, and then with the recliners, because I wasn't trying to get a recliner, but with the recliners, we really got room to stretch out. So I love it. So now it's just trying to keep the kids from destroying the new couch. 
I want to at least have it at least a year before they make some kind of mess on it. I mean, goodness. Um, we got a fence installed. So now the kids can go outside and play. Just go on outside and play. But, of course, they haven't played outside lately because they've been on punishment. And now it's starting to get cool. So I'm going to tell them, like, I need y'all to get on your best behavior if y'all want to be able to go outside and play before it gets too cold. So, yeah. Um, also, another exciting thing is um, my husband and I, we pay some debt off. My student loans are paid in full. So no more student loans because I was refusing to feel like um, student loans was just going to be the part of the rest of my life. Like, that's just part of my life for the rest of my life. Like, no, I refuse to go down like that. So we got that got um that paid off, credit cards paid off. And I will talk more about that in an upcoming video also. Um, so let's see. And we celebrated the feast days. And so we are going we're going to have uh well we got another one coming up, Feast of Dedication. So that's coming up in December. Um, and then we're starting back with the spring uh, feast days um, back in the front in the spring um, So we're gonna be kicking off with um, Well ending with Purim and then kicking off the spring um, feast days with Passover So I am excited. So we did Yom Teruah um, Most of you may you know know it as um, Feast of Trumpets so my kids, they did their, um, I'm trying to see, do I have it there? Yeah. So in homeschool, we learned about the Feast of Trumpets, and I had the kids make their own little um, shofars. Woo! And so during our Yom Teruah service, I had them come up, and they gave um their little presentation aj talked about what he learned um and they presented their shofars so that was fun um and let's see and then atonement and then we had um a feast of tabernacles or sukkot and oh gosh the kids love that um, so we got, you know, a tent and all the things that we needed for camping out. So we participated with Sukkot for two nights. Um, so our hopes and plans is that we do the entire week, uh, next year. Um, but we thoroughly enjoyed, um, Sukkot and just being outside in nature and, the services were like just amazing. I mean, the, uh, which I'm going to talk more about all the feast days too and upcoming videos also. But the deliverance that um, a lot of the people had and just being out there to praise the Most High and because remembering that these feast days are His holy days. So it was just amazing. AJ still talks about Sukkot. Like, he's still, like, thinking it's Sukkot coming up. Like, and I'm like, no, Sukkot will be back uh, coming around again next year, okay? But he 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 enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah. So, next up, we're going to be um, celebrating um, ceased, uh, ceased, Feast of Dedication. Um, so, I'll talk more about that. Um, in an upcoming video and really explain that and how we don't celebrate it as Hanukkah um, or as the way that the Jewish people celebrate Hanukkah. We do things, because we, if you haven't figured it out, we do things biblically. Um, not just based off of what people say and just people's traditions. We go by what their Bibles say, okay? Um, so, yeah. So, what's next? So, um, I'm going to be having more videos coming up. And like I said, I'm working on trying to keep things consistent. And, um, yeah. And making sure that I um, stay active on YouTube. 
and not being away from you all for so long. So you all can actually easily follow um, the progress of my motherhood, follow my journey. Because especially lately, after what I've talked about in this video, it has been a journey. My husband just texted me and said they're on their way home. So they will be here in just a little bit. Hopefully they'll get here um, before my class starts. Because my class starts um, in about 15 minutes. Um, so what's next? Um, we're going to be getting through this party. Um, preparing for upcoming feast days. And um, oh yeah, and getting going with the second semester of homeschooling. And then definitely improving behavior. And, you know, um, I have some finance, some more finance classes coming up. So I'll talk more about that and then have my AR learning channel coming up too. So that's what's been happening and that's what's going to be happening. So oh, with all of that being said, I will see you all in the next video. And remember, always enjoy the journey, okay? Like I've said before, it's a reminder to you and a reminder to myself, even with everything that may be going on, everything that's going on in the world, everything that's going on in this country, remember to enjoy the journey. All right, so I will see you all in the next video. Bye.